All right, Black Goose TV fam, this is going to be a quick reaction real quick. Uh, I seen this video on my YouTube feed. Um, this is one of them joints where I was about to click on and I wanted to watch myself, but then I was like, yeah, let me go ahead and watch it with the Black Goose family. You know what I'm saying? Let me not be selfish. Let me not keep all these goods to myself. Let me go ahead and watch this joint with the fam fam, see what they think about it, et cetera, et cetera. Now, as we know, Ryan Garcia got a fight coming up, as we know. Ron Garcia has been getting a whole lot of hate in the boxing community. And I'm going to say this as a disclaimer, regardless of the hate you get, Ron Garcia, I'm going to ride with you. I'm going to support you. I may still say some shit because you be doing some dumb shit, but I'm going to rock with you. I'm going to support you because you're from the Ville and I'm from the desert too. So it's nothing but love, baby. Hometown, you know what I'm saying? You got to, you, 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 ain't no disrespect. I'm always going to support a motherfucker who came from where I came from. So, with that being said, I had to go ahead and check out this video. You know what I'm saying? One of the uh, 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 most talked about topics in the boxing community was the fact that Ryan Garcia, he left Eddie Reynoso's camp for this upcoming fight. And, um, you know, it wasn't from Ryan Garcia himself, which I think a lot of people are getting confused. Ryan Garcia never said anything in regards to Eddie Reynoso and Canelo's camp as far as Eddie Reynoso being absent. It was Oscar De La Hoya, that man in that in that orange right there, in the orange with the uh, high water sweats on and the, and, 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 and the granddad shoes. That was the man who actually put out into the atmosphere that supposedly Eddie Reynoso was not there and giving enough time to Ryan Garcia. So I don't even know why I'm talking about this, but it might be necessary because, you know, what I'm saying a lot of y'all who clicked on it probably thought differently. A lot of y'all probably assumed that Ryan Garcia was the first person to say anything. Actually, no, Ryan Garcia moved camps, hadn't said anything the entire time. Um, the only person who addressed the situation was Oscar De La Hoya's ass. He said something that got caught up by the media. The media ran with it. Then they went and asked Canelo about it. And unfortunately, that turned into Canelo addressing Ryan Garcia rather than Oscar. See, a lot of y'all, y'all don't, don't look at the details, right? The details. Y'all don't look at the nitty gritty of it, the specifics. Y'all just be like, oh, is that what it is? Ryan Garcia, you ain't shit. But, you know, the, the, the reality of it, Ryan never said anything, right? Oscar put it out there. Canelo then responded to that. Um, didn't have the kindest words for Ryan Garcia because obviously he felt like uh, what you know Oscar De La Hoya said in the media was false and made his team look bad. Uh, but unfortunately, he addressed Ryan directly rather than addressing Oscar, uh, which, in my opinion, as a young man in Ryan Garcia, you can't just let that shit come out. You gotta, you gotta say something from your side. So I do. I had, I never had a problem with Ryan Garcia responding to Canelo the way he did. Um, I actually thought it was smart. Whenever he was asked about it again, he would say, hey, I already addressed it on Twitter. Check out Twitter. Now, a lot of people who didn't understand the situation talk shit. Oh, you already said you addressed it on Twitter. Why don't you be a man and say it now? Because, people, he never even brought this shit up. He did not put it out there into the media that he left camps because Eddie Reynoso was absent. It was Oscar. So, Ryan, from his perspective, when he sees Canelo respond and respond the way he does, Ryan's like, damn, bro. You came at me almost like I was the one who said it. I didn't say it. So I think it was smart for Ryan. He's like, I have to address this personally. I have to speak up for myself because people were running with the narrative and basically making it seem as if Garcia started the whole thing. Canelo responded and he's not saying anything. That's the world we live in, the internet age, right? And Ryan, you can't be too mad about it because you've thrived off the internet age. But I'm here as your brother, as your fellow high desert brethren to, to be in your corner just a little bit. Not everybody on the internet's bashing you, dog. I got you. So uh, this is a quick video, quick little reaction video. Um, apparently, Oscar De La Hoya wanted to give our guy Ryan Garcia a little bit of tips on how to fight a smaller opponent. Uh, obviously, his next upcoming opponent uh, is much on the shorter spectrum on the side of the game. Um, so apparently Oscar feels like he can uh, give him a couple of tips. This isn't that too long of a video. I think it's only like literally like 10 seconds. Um, but I'm like, why not? Let's see it. We know that Ryan Garcia is working with Joe Gooston now. Let's see if we can spot this a little bit, a little bit, a little bit of change. Check it out. Yeah, I was right here. I was always right here. <laughs> Oscar, remember when you like wanted to punch everything in <laughs> they were always shorter. And then they say, don't do that. And then you just keep doing it. <laughs> <laughs> I never listened. I I never listened. So it was short. Obviously, the 
the title isn't necessarily true. He didn't teach him really anything. It was really more so Ryan Garcia saying what he saw from him. Um, see, Oscar telling Ryan Garcia there his secrets right there. I never listened. They said, don't do that. And then they say, don't do that. Look, I never listened. Look, at he said he felt so good about that. Uh, so yeah, just just that was a uh, this this real quick vid. I just kind of wanted to see if he actually showed him something. You know how these goddamn videos are. He didn't show him anything. He was just there chilling in the goddamn uh, training camp uh, with his goddamn orange sweater on. Um, I got I got no beef against Oscar. Oscar Oscar, you know he's a legend in the sport, so there's nothing you know nothing really to say about him. But I wanted to watch this with y'all. I wanted to watch. I know it was goddamn ten seconds, but I wanted to watch this clip with y'all. Um, and also, apparently, it was for a reason because I was able to have my short little rant on the whole Ryan Garcia Canelo situation. When I think when I did it before, a lot of y'all didn't listen. Hopefully, y'all listen here. I'm not saying y'all got to let up on Ryan Garcia. I'm not saying stop talking shit about the young man. A lot of the shit he does, he does bring it on himself. But please, in this particular situation with Canelo, he didn't bring it up. It wasn't his doing. It was all Oscar. I think if you could understand being as young as he is, a 23-year-old kid, you have your motherfucking idol talking shit about you or not even talking shit, but saying something that makes you look in a bad light. And it is in response to something that I didn't even put out in the media, but he's responded to it like I did. It would be smart to say something. That's just my personal opinion. I might be wrong, though. It's opinion. Who knows? Uh, let me know, though, what you guys think. Let me know what you guys think about my opinion toward that situation. Let me know what you guys you know, think about the little short 10-second clip, whatever. Hit the comment section. Show me some love, like button, all that good stuff. I'm going to get up out of here. I got a little bit more content for you tonight, podcast, all that good stuff. But love y'all. Appreciate y'all. Please keep growing the channel. Y'all don't understand how much I'm enjoying this shit. So I'm just going to keep giving y'all as much content as I can when it comes to the boxing side of the game. You already know what it is. I'm about to.